Then he gets married. Then he becomes a parent. He becomes a father. If he himself didn't have good tarbiyat, if he himself disrespected his mother and father when he was a child, when he will have children, why does he expect his own son to respect him now? Why do you expect number one thing? Why do you, you yourself disrespected your mother and father? You showed dishonor to your mother and father. You were disobedient to your mother and father. And now you are a father, you have children. And if your children dishonor, disobey, disrespect you, why are you, why are you surprised, bro? Tell me, why are you so surprised? You shouldn't be surprised. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at how you were with your mother and father. What goes around comes around, Akhi. What goes around comes around. What goes around, what you did to your parents. Now you become a parent and you are in a position of responsibility. It will come around back to you. How are you going to do it? Prepare yourself for these tests that Allah is going to give you. Innama amwalukum wa awladukum fitnatu. Your mal and your dawlat, your awlad, your children, they will be a test for you. It's one of the tests Allah Almighty will give you. What if He was to give you a disabled son to see how you will react? What if for 15 years you tried for a son, you didn't get no child? What if you had children, you had mal, dolat, everything, but your son's locked up in a prison? These are tests that Allah will give you to your children. Just as you was once a test for your own mother and father, now your own children will become a test on you. And how you was testing your mother and father, your children will test you as well. What goes around comes around. Illa ma sha Allah. You get exceptional cases. يحفظها من كل شر فيمحي بعده الغسق طهر الفؤاد يديم الحب مكتملا طوبى لقلبي